Hey, what's up? Welcome back to the Holy Smokes Barbecue Channel. It is a cold winter morning. It's about 20 degrees outside. It's also very early in the morning. I got my coffee going. It's about 7.30 a.m. And the only reason that I'm outside today on this cold morning on a Saturday is because today we're doing an all day long cook and I'm making Carolina style barbecue. So in the South, we just call it barbecue. Other parts of the country call it pulled pork, but that's what we're doing today. We're gonna do it low and slow and all day long cook on my Pit Boss Platinum Lockhart. I can't wait to get started. This is gonna be delicious for dinner tonight. So let's go. All right, so today I'm working with this beautiful eight pound Boston butt, pork shoulder, uh, pork butt, same thing. This today is gonna to be about eight pounds. We're gonna budget about an hour per pound for this on the smoker today based on the way I'm gonna cook it. And we'll talk about that a little bit later. I'm gonna use two dry rub seasonings on this today. Now this is actually fairly moist already, so I'm not gonna use any sort of binder. I'm not gonna put you know, mustard or water or anything like that on it. I'm just gonna leave it just as it is. And then we're gonna come out throughout the cook and, uh, and spritz it down a little bit just to keep that moisture in. So I'm using two different seasonings today. So the first one is this Pit Boss smoke infused competition smoked rub. You've seen me use this before, we used it on our low country shrimp and grits, and uh, I'm gonna use this all over and we're gonna apply this pretty liberally. We're gonna get all over this pork butt here. Just like that, get it nice and seasoned up. And you've heard me say this before, we always want to get these sides. The sides are the unsung hero, a lot of cuts of meat. Because they do the work, a lot of times they don't get the seasoning. So we're going to give these sides a good seasoning as well. All right, I'm going to season this nice fat cap here. If this were something where we were, we had a cut of meat that had a fat cap on it and we were going to cook it fairly quickly, We'd, we'd want to trim this uh, this fat cap down a little bit. This is going to be a nice slow cook. We're going to be cooking this thing all day. So it's going to have plenty of time to render most of that fat out. But then at the end of it, I'm actually going to shred this with some meat claws. So we're going to shred that and that fat cap won't really be a problem at all. Get this last side here. I love the way that this competition smoke seasoning smells. All right, all right. so I've got my competition smoke seasoning on. I'm gonna let this sit for about five minutes to really let that seasoning absorb into the meat, and then we'll apply our other rub, which I'm really excited about. All right, it's been about five minutes, and that competition smoke seasoning has really started to set into the meat. I love that. So now I'm gonna hit it with yet another rub. I'm gonna be using Lily's Carolina Dirt Barbecue Rub. We are making a Carolina-style barbecue, and I'll explain that in a little bit, but uh, this rub is going to add a little bit of sweetness where this is going to add a little bit of that salt and smokiness. So I'm just going to add that on again pretty liberally but this is also going to give us some really nice color and a good bark on that pork butt. Once again, get that fat cap nice and seasoned. All right, that looks great. All right, my Lockhart is set to 225 degrees. We're gonna go ahead and get this pork butt onto the smoker. All right, and I'm gonna be putting it fat cap down to get started here. Grab my thermometer here. We're going to go ahead and probe this right from the beginning, right down in the middle. Close it up. All right, and there we have it. The pork butt is on the smoker. And like I said, I'm going to estimate about an hour per pound for that. But I'm, I've, I've learned in the past that I can underestimate that a little bit. So I'm not really going for time as much as I'm going for temperature. All right, so I want this to eventually get up to between 198 and 205 of an internal temperature on that pork butt. Then it's gonna be just perfect to grab my meat claws and just shred into it. It's gonna be beautiful. Today, 
I'm smoking using these Bear Mountain Gourmet Blend wood pellets. I love these things. I, I keep them stocked regularly and they are a perfect mixture of different types of wood and I find that that's just delicious on pork. So that's what we're using today. Now we could just stop right there. The pork butt would still be delicious if we just pulled it off when it was done, shredded it and eat it. However, we're making Carolina style barbecue today. And in the Carolinas, barbecue is about one thing, vinegar, vinegar base. All right, so we're gonna make that as we pull it off and shred it up to give it that true Carolina taste. So one final component today, I'm gonna show you how to make a homemade barbecue sauce. It's gonna be a little bit sweet, a little bit spicy. It's gonna to top our pulled pork beautifully. So at the end of the day, we're gonna have this incredible pulled pork sandwich, vinegar-based pulled pork barbecue topped with our homemade barbecue sauce on a bun. It's gonna be absolutely delicious. It's only eight o'clock in the morning and my mouth is watering for dinner tonight. So I'm gonna be coming back out about every hour, hour and a half to check that pork butt. And really what I'm checking for is just the moisture. If I find that it's drying out, I'm gonna go ahead and spritz it with some water and, uh, and that's it. So we'll be back in a little bit and we'll get started on our homemade barbecue sauce. All right, let's make some barbecue sauce. This is as simple as just putting some things into a saucepan and letting it simmer until it's the consistency and the taste that we want. So I'm gonna start with putting in two cups of ketchup. There's no better ketchup than Heinz ketchup. All right, we'll just get that in there. This is gonna be the base kind of for the sauce. And we'll build it around this. All right, next I'm gonna do half of a cup of apple cider vinegar. This is gonna give it that nice little bite to it. There we go. Next I'm gonna get one quarter of a cup of packed brown sugar. I'm gonna take this brown sugar, just gonna pack it down into my measuring cup here. We're gonna go with a quarter of a cup. This is what's gonna give it some of that additional sweetness. All right, we'll get that in there. Okay, next I'm gonna add two tablespoons of honey into this mixture. And there's two tablespoons of honey. All right, next I'm gonna add a tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce. I think I said that right, I don't know. I don't know how you're actually supposed to say this. One tablespoon of that. All right. All right, it's already starting to bubble here. Next, I'm gonna add just a teaspoon of this Kinder's The Blend seasoning. This is just salt, pepper, and garlic. And I love this stuff, so I'm just gonna go ahead and put that in. You could also separate these out and do, you know, separate salt, pepper, and garlic. I just love this blend. Go ahead and start to mix this up a little bit here. Not quite done with the ingredients yet though. All right, my last couple of ingredients here. To this mixture, I'm gonna add just a little bit of liquid smoke. Now this stuff is highly concentrated, so I don't need a ton of it. Just gonna add about that much to it. And then finally, some hot sauce. I'm going with Texas Pete hot sauce today. This is what's going to give it some of that spice. All right, my hot sauce is in, and now I'm going to just let this kind of sit here on the heat. I'm going to taste it along the way and just see how it tastes, see what else it needs. But I'm going to cover it. I'm going to let it simmer for probably about 10 minutes or so, and then we'll be ready to take it off, put it in a bottle, and have it later with our pulled pork sandwich. Can't wait. All right, my sauce is done. It's inside, it's cooling down. I'm gonna put it in a bottle and have that with my pulled pork a little bit later on. It's been about two hours since I first put the pork butt onto the Lockhart. And I checked it about an hour ago and it was still nice and uh, that moisture was really still there. But now I'm gonna check it again after two hours. All right, we're at an internal temp of exactly 100 degrees. And a little trick I like to check the moisture is I just kind of tap it with my glove. And if the seasoning stays on and there's not really a lot of moisture that comes onto my glove, my glove here, then I know it's time to kind of spritz it. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. In this bottle, 
I have a mixture of uh, mostly water, but about two and a half tablespoons of apple cider vinegar. I'm gonna go ahead and just spritz this down a little bit here. There we go. And I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna do that as needed over the rest of the cook. But for right now, we're gonna close it back up and let it keep on rolling. Wow, this pork butt looks and smells amazing. I've spritzed it about three times so far. We're on about five and a half hours of cooking. I'm gonna go ahead and take it off and get it wrapped up. All right, so I'm, I'm gonna use a foil pan here, and that's gonna help me to collect those juices, just make it more and more tender and more juicy when we eventually shred it up. So I'm gonna go ahead and get it off the smoker now. All right, look at that. Here we go. Boy, it just fits in my pan too. All right, I'm not gonna do anything else to this right now other than wrap it up. And again, I'm using this foil pan because if I just wrapped it in foil, it'd be really hard for me to control those juices. I'm just gonna wrap it right in here. And we're gonna go back in the smoker. I'm gonna put my, uh, my meat thermometer back into this through the foil so I can continue to monitor that temperature. And then that's it. We're just gonna leave it on until that internal temp reaches between 198 and about 205. And then we'll be back. All right, so it has been almost exactly eight hours since I put this pork butt on the Lockhart this morning. Again, we said like one hour per pound, eight pounds of meat, eight hour cook. It's that simple for today. So uh, it's smelling incredible. So let's go ahead and get it off and take a look at what we got. All right, this looks absolutely incredible. It smells phenomenal. I just wanna show you this before I start shredding it here. The sign of a perfectly cooked pork butt is this bone. pulls right out. Look at that. See how simple that was? That's how you know. That is how you know. All right, I'm gonna grab these meat claws here. And I'm just gonna start pulling this apart just a little bit so that we can see. Oh man, look at that. You can see that smoke ring. See that pink right in there. Oh man, look at how that's pulling apart. All right, I'm gonna finish pulling this and then we're gonna stack it up on a sandwich with our sauce. All right, I've got the rest of that pork butt pulled here and we've cleaned this up really nicely so there's not a lot of fat. Uh, I cleaned a lot of that off because no one wants to really bite into a big chunk of fat. So this is what's left of that eight pound pork butt. Uh, this is gonna be absolutely incredible. Before I put it on my sandwich, I have a mixture here that I made and you can make this, it'll store in your refrigerator for, for weeks but this is kind of that little bit of that secret sauce behind what's gonna make this that Eastern Carolina barbecue. So this is about a cup of white vinegar, a cup of uh, apple cider vinegar, uh, about a tablespoon of brown sugar, some cayenne pepper, uh, some more hot sauce, some more of that Texas peat, and then a little bit of salt and pepper. And I'm actually just, I'm not gonna pour this entire thing in here. I'm only gonna pour just a, you know, probably about a quarter of this. Pour this right over my pulled pork, just like that. Toss this around just a little bit. Oh, it smells like Carolina. I'm not in Carolina right now, but it smells like Carolina, let me just tell you. All right, it is the moment that we've all been waiting for. Got my bun here. I like to use just a good old cheap bun. I'm gonna grab just a nice little handful of my pulled pork. Put that right there on top. Have my barbecue sauce that we made earlier. Put that right on there. Oh man, let's get that on there nice and good. We'll build this up here. All right, here we go. Can't wait to dig in. Let's try this Carolina pulled pork sandwich. That is good. Just reminds me of growing up having this kind of barbecue. Oh, so, so, so good. A lot of times people in the South will put like coleslaw on top of this too. I'm not doing that just because I'm not a huge fan of coleslaw, but if you want to throw some coleslaw on there, go ahead. 
That barbecue sauce that we made earlier, oh my gosh, it just makes it. It's so, so good. That meat is so tender. Even that little sauce we kind of threw in at the end to give it that extra tang of vinegar, it tastes absolutely perfect. Well, hey, thanks for sticking with me for this all day long cook. Thanks for tuning into the Holy Smokes Barbecue channel. If you're not already subscribed to the channel, make sure you click down below to subscribe. Make sure you give us a thumbs up if you like this video and check out one of the other videos that we've done over here. Always cooking up some great stuff and we'll see you next time.